How do we change the color of the bullets to red? Well, apparently in 2016, you can right click on them. And I can just go and turn them to red. Now, you didn't used to be able to do that. Uh, you used to have to go through a few. I mean, you could come here and go to font, but the way that you used to have to do it is that you. So let me undo this to see if it also works. Select the existing list. You had to click the drop down. You had to define new bullet. And here's the three choices here when we get to symbol. And this time you go to font and you say red. And uh, perhaps we'll say 14 and change that as well and say OK, and OK. And that was how we did it. Now, the text has remained at 11. And well, if we right click on here, well, it shows 11 as well. But I'm going to go back through that and go to Font and change this so that we can see clearly whether this is working 24 and say OK. OK. And you can see they're definitely large, even though it doesn't show anything here. I am going to switch them back to 8. So in 2.13, we definitely had to use uh, this method, but it doesn't appear that way anymore. It just looks like you can just come straight to the ribbon and make the changes. OK, so go ahead and practice that here. In the second one, uh, character 175 in Webdings. So I'm just going to make sure you know what that means. So bullets and define new bullet. And we're going to symbols. And we are going to uh, Webdings. And it's character 175. Now, if you did not see the music there, we should be able to type 175 and there. And it has found it. So in case you ever see the character code, that's what it's talking about. If you do know it, you can choose it from there.